Welcome to Excel 2010 Statistics video number 24. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Excel 2010 Statistics Chapter 3, click on the link below the video. Hey, I'm going to start on the sheet cell charts, and this is just actually a quick trick, actually held over from last chapter, Chapter 2. Last chapter we talked about a lot about distri uh, frequency distributions, and this is tabular, and we talked about tabular and graphical. Here's our data set. I've already summarized it here. I've used this count ifs and we did this a bunch of times last chapter. I copy it down and there I have my count. Now we also did a dot plot, a cell chart like this, and a stem and leaf. Now I have this data randomized. If I hit F9 you can see the data is changing. The cell chart distributions are um, changing each time the underlying data changes. All I want to show you here is a horizontal histogram. Now there's a built-in feature called conditional formatting that tells the cell to have a certain type of formatting and there is a if you're talking horizontal bar not a column because it's going to be horizontal but a horizontal bar that will look exactly like a histogram based on conditional formatting. But the way conditional formatting works is the cell itself has to have something in it for it to actually get formatted. So I'm just going to put the frequencies, I'm going to take these frequencies and put them over here. I'm going to say equals this, relative cell reference, control enter and copy it down. With that range highlighted I go up to conditional formatting, data bars, either gradient or fill, how about uh, gradient? No, no, let's do fill right here. You've got to be kidding me. And as I F9, the distribution changes. Now, this looks just like almost like a, a histogram, but it's turned on its side, which a histogram can be on its side. It sh still shows you the shape. Now, let's um, refine this one bit more. I'm going to go up to conditional formatting, uh, manage rules. I'm going to click on here and edit. And I can say show bar only and then the, the numbers will go away. You can also change some other parameters here. Maybe you want uh, a color like that instead of, so you can select whichever color, click OK, click OK. So now F9, there I have my horizontal histogram cell chart with conditional formatting. Alright, next video we'll start chapter 3. See you next video.